and I give you guys all the tricks so you guys better use them with the ass and use them in the Hey babies! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is pronounced Arcage for those of you who don't know and for those of you who do know, welcome back to my channel. You guys know every single time I come on here and I talk about stuff like this, I am for real, okay? And today I am here to tell you that this right here is, is not more than a side hustle. You could make it become like a thing or whatever, but I'm not going to sit here and tell you like if you were going to look for your real estate license to not go get it. That's all I'm saying. But just know, this could get you good money. That's all I'm telling you. A couple months ago, I posted this video and the video was about how to make money as a teenager. And I mentioned um, this thing that had to do with real estate kind of. It was just taking pictures for realtors and for people like that. And you guys wanted me to go more in depth with that. So I was like, and it was like a whole bunch of people that kept asking me a question and like, like, what do I do? Like, how does this work? And you know what? I was just like, it's time for me to help my babies out. It's time for me to help my people out because I love helping you guys. I love making videos about this. I love talking about money. Who doesn't love money? I love money, you love money. Okay, that's why you're here. The way you start is first you need a computer. I know, I know people always say to start something, you do not need a computer, but for this baby, you need a computer. It could be any kind of computer. It could be a Chromebook, a desktop, laptop, Mac, whatever. I have a Mac, but that's just my preference. But you will go to either Zillow, Redfin, or another app. I think there's like more apps out there, but Zillow and Redfin are the ones that I'm familiar with. And as soon as you go to Zillow and Redfin, try to find, like when you first start, I would advise you to kind of start like, kind of start low. Start with prices that aren't really that high, only because if you start with prices that are like really, really high, the chances of you getting someone to like answer you is like really low because the, the person that's working on the house or the person that's trying to sell the house might not answer you so quick. Only because if you're trying to do like a $10 million house, obviously they have people in the background already like promoting their 10 million dollar house like it's very easy for them to get stuff like that but when it comes to realtors that are really like um their money is their budget is kind of low like for example if i were you and I, I am starting out i would start with someone that has a three hundred thousand dollar house for example and from a three hundred dollar house you get the description of the house and you get the the realtor's number, like the agent's number and everything, and then you text them about it. Towards the end of this video, I will try and let you guys know like examples of ways to um, type the email out. So if you guys want to know how to type the emails out and stuff like that, I will be uh, mentioning that like towards kind of like the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But right now I'm like focused on what you need to do. So basically, yes, you um, email them and half of the time they would answer you and say, yes, I'm interested. Like depending on how you write your email, that's why it's important to write a very like informative email that tells them like, here's, I'll tell you guys later. But after that, when they answer and they tell you everything, they say yes or they say no. Half of the time, if it's like a low budget realtor, agent, whatever, they will say yes because they need people to do stuff like this for like a low budget and to create your collage for the person that you're sending it over to you could use canvas or my personal favorite i like to use fonto i think fonto is like very very simple like a lot of people don't really like using fonto they like using canvas only because um they see everyone else using canvas so they're like okay i'm gonna use canvas because so and so is using canvas Canvas is amazing if you know if you already know how to use it, but personally me, I like Fonto. And on Fonto, I am gonna give you guys an example of the way you can basically make the collage so it could look at least like kind of decent. So right here, I'm gonna put the screen right here and you're gonna see how I'm gonna create the, the banner. Basically, you're gonna add the image that you want. You guys are gonna see it here. 
basically you're gonna add the image that you want and then after you add the images that you want you add the person's face and after you add the person's face you can put their numbers on there which is very important you can put the house listing you could put very like little details about the house like on the side of your poster kind of so people know and you just make it like very like eye-catching like very not too colorful but a little i like adding pink to a lot of things because i don't know for some reason pink always works out for me so pink is what i usually use for like the, the eye-catching like color or whatever and you use that and after you're done with that you basically like save it and once you save it you have to go to you send it to them obviously and if they approve it then that's when you send it over to them but if the person is like in your area which it's it would be important to do to start in your area you don't have to send it to them the way you could do it you could mail it to them but you could mail it to them or you this isn't very safe but i don't know if you want to you could meet with a person at a coffee shop or something and you guys exchange the money and the posters and everything and if you guys do go with that option and not emailing it to them or sending it to them by email um when i say email it to them i mean like mail it to them like actually mail the product to them if you guys don't mail the product to them or email the product to them and you guys decide to do like the coffee shop meetup or whatever i just say coffee shop because that's what everybody always like have in their mind if that's the route you choose to do you could go to walgreens and walgreens have a way to print out big posters and stuff like that and like just like that that is how you would present it to the person at the coffee shop like yeah like this is my idea like you like it, it's amazing blah, blah blah like i can make a few of these like you only have to make one sample you do not have to make a whole bunch trust me if a person is asking you to make a whole bunch they're trying to scam you do not do not make a whole bunch of things for them for the first time because only because some people are very kind of like you know and they could try and trick you and like make you give them a whole bunch of stuff for not that much money and honestly for you to take your time and do all of that and um do a whole bunch of stuff for them all that fee goes into the fee of when they accept it and they say yes they want a whole bunch of them all of that goes all of you taking your time to create the sample goes into the fee so always always charge them for that fee too and always let them know like yes you are getting charged for this you guys could do however many however much money you want but i think 30 to 40 50 dollars is enough for you to take your time because it could be a long time to for some people to create their posters depending how much how long you take to create your posters and you think yeah it's important for me to you know have more than just 30 dollars because i just spent damn near like two hours trying to do this then charge them by the hour if you not by the hour but for your time charge them for your time okay because either way it's cheaper than like them paying 350 in total is way cheaper than what they could have paid if they made anybody else do this so you doing this is a benefit to them so charge them however much you want but do not go over a thousand dollars because then they could have just got a professional i hope that makes sense but also when it comes to writing an email this is actually very easy because first off it doesn't take that much to write an email to one of them only because there's not a lot you can say to kind of convince them but there's enough you could say to convince them i could tell you guys this literally works but like i said do not do not if you want to go get your real estate license go get it do not think this is like a lifelong thing you could definitely do this but it's very much a high less side hustle um so basically for your email you write hello how are you good morning good afternoon ma'am miss mister whatever the name is you put it and then you say i was looking at your house your house listing and i was very interested on the house and i wanted to make a poster for you so you can brand your house and your listing right and you tell them 
this and this and that this is what i'm experiencing and if you're not experiencing this at all which some of you might not or are obviously not going to be experiencing this you just tell them i'm gonna start it now blah 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 i'm just starting out but yes you can trust me just tell them like yeah you've worked with like two or three people just so they can kind of like ease up and just give you your work and your stuff right just tell them like you work with two or three people and tell them like yeah just create i'm telling you guys a trick right now okay create literally i'm being so serious like this you guys can't tell anyone okay but create two to three fake um banners that you made before and tell them like yeah these are my samples of those stuff i made for people and they've loved it but make sure it's actual actual house listings though and tell them like yeah these are the ones i made for people and you know like i did that and they loved it and just tell them that and they're like mm, so they worked with somebody before it's okay i can trust them i can trust them you guys see me right so yeah just tell them that like honestly and then they'll half of the time they'll answer back because they need they need people they always need people to literally like promote their stuff and just make stuff for them like make posters make painters blah 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 so you can like give it everywhere you could even make business cards if you wanted to for them because i think for the business cards sometimes they pay quite a bit just to get them so if you guys even wanted to do that you guys could but yeah after that in the email if after you add your little experience or whatever you send them the photos like attached files to and then that's basically it. and then you send it over like it's really not that complicated but do not be like yo like i'm, I'm trying to work for you for the money like this is how much i charge like you better give me this much or i'm not working with you see that that is not a great way to approach any brand that you're trying to work with anybody that you're trying to work with anyone period that you're trying to work with that is not how you approach someone you say good morning say good afternoon you have your manners you tell them a little about yourself like don't you don't got to tell them your age and everything but you can just tell them like your little hobbies but we don't need a life story okay not a life story just something short just so it could be like you know good and great and so it could have you know so yeah that's really it for real like i really do hope you guys got something from this video um i don't know how more in depth i could make it because a lot of you guys did want to know more about this and i really do wish i could sit here and for like a good 30 minutes and like explain it to you guys really really well but this is like to the most i could explain it like really all i could really tell you guys is just start it as long as soon as you start listen as soon as anything that you start you will get somewhere with it okay so as soon as you start you start learning more about it and the more you learn about it the more you'll be able to learn other people and your other friends and stuff like that and then sooner or later you're going to be working with a million dollar brands a million dollar real estate people like not even a million like 10 million and they'll be taking you because you actually have like proof of working with actual actual people so that will work but do not try to try the two to three business um two to three fake ideas to people with 10 million because that won't work with them because they know they know people they will know they will find out but you can definitely do it to the smaller people because they have no money okay they're, they're pro i'm sick i'm joking i'm joking it's really because i'm joking it's really because they're like on a budget all right everybody's on a budget it's 2023 we're all going broke you need the money you need 10 million dollars about tomorrow i'm your person that's all you gotta tell them that's all they gotta know that's all they gotta know about you you're the person to get 10 million dollars by tomorrow you're gonna get 10 million dollars by tomorrow just use me that's all you gotta let them know because they need people they need people but yeah so i really do hope you guys enjoyed today's video i could honestly say this works and i give you guys all the tricks so you guys better use them and use them and don't tell nobody but yeah i really hope i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i wish to do more series like this if you guys do like stuff like this i know you guys like when i make videos like this but so i just want to switch it up sometimes and you know give you guys some vlogs too but i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video um i appreciate you guys and bye bye